everybody and welcome back to Blade Storm Nightmare. It has been a while since I uploaded some of this. But um I've been thinking I think I've been going about this the wrong way. One, like clearing all the bases so the videos take longer. Or the videos or the videos consist of like one or two missions. So what I'm decided to do is I'm just going to go straight for the main thing. Because I don't think I'm that far along in the story, no, regardless of how many battles I've done. They've just been really long videos. Of like one or two uh, missions. Alright, so we got to take that base right there. Alright, cool, I'm super close to the base, that's good. Yes, deploy. With my power level, I'll be able to go through this very quickly. Also, I'm rocking a new squad type. Now, I'm, it's still two-handed, but now it's exotic, two-handed. Basically, katanas. And I have the strongest one in the game, I think. This one was used by... This one was granted to someone by a god that was used to unite his his land or some shit. This thing is fucking huge. But by no means the long as uh Setheros, uh sword. So, um shit, I don't know. Uh, I guess uh, I wanted, I was going to record last night, but I had to pull a double at my job, and I was so tired I didn't even hook up anything to record. But um, also like if anyone was like watch any of my like early early videos, um, I said I was going to eventually like get a Crunchyroll account, uh, start binge watching anime and stuff. So I started binge watching anime. And uh, I started watching two animes. One that got a lot of uh, attention, and another one that didn't get so much attention. The one that didn't really get a lot of attention, that wasn't really brought to my forefront, was Kokoro's Basketball, or Kokoro No Basket, or some shit like that. Uh, basically it's a basketball anime and I've come to believe that anime can make any sport awesome like I'm not into basketball I'm not into watching basketball at least I'll play it but I don't like watching I think it's boring to watch <sighs> but this anime man I'll be hype as shit to watch it even though I know that one's team might win because you know the story or the story has gone so far and you're like oh yeah i know who's gonna win but uh they make that shit so it make like how they win is so interesting like it's like i know they're gonna win but oh my fucking god how they won was insane you know, so it keeps me invested. I want to see how they do it. And anime just makes shit look so fucking fly. Have you heard of England's female commander? A female commander? Certainly I have not. Is that so? I served under her, formally. She is truly masterly. Not only is she a fine warrior, She's magnanimous and fair of face. I see. So you are uh, in love. Oh, I like her uniform. Wasn't expecting her uniform to look like that. All right, on to the next one. This is all I can offer you at the moment. 
And I'm just not gonna fight for England now. Cause I don't need money. And the fame, my fame bar has stopped going up. So I guess that's a story progression thing. So I'm just like, fuck it, whatever, right? Alright, so we just gotta take those two bases. One for each of us. No problem. So, my, uh... My other anime that I'm watching that has been put on the forefront. I've seen commercials for it and shit like that. Which is Parasite. And honestly, I gotta say, story-wise, it is a, like, it makes you think. And I like that. I like animes that provoke uh, thought, you know, and it's just not something you watch. Like, I say, I think all anime provoke some some level of thought, but I think this one takes it to a new, uh, a new level, basically. And... It makes you look at humanity differently. You know, as someone, as you know, being a human person, you want to preserve your life. And that's understandable. But what if someone, if, if God created another uh, creature that fed off of humans, I don't know, it would be strange to feel like we have a right to eradicate them. You know, it's like, that's if uh, Indians wanted to eradicate all of them, all, every other country that ate cows. You know, or Islam wanted to eradicate everyone who ate pigs. They don't have no respect for pigs, but it's just like, you know, morally wrong to them. And that's kind of how humans see the devouring of other humans. Or seeing us as a food source. Like being some other creature's primary source for sustenance. We're like, oh no, you can't allow us to be at the bottom of the food chain. So, I don't know. I just find, like, if you if you think, like, well, I don't want them to completely eradicate our species by eating it. Well, then it's like, well, wouldn't that go the same for any other uh, species? Just think about so many, how many we sent into extinction. How many has been killed, not even for food, but, like, just their bones or something. You know? So, I just always thought, I was like, it's kind of strange when you're put as the, when you are the food. You know, will it make you treat animals or people, animals differently? You know. I think the human race could never, could never just, oh, what the fuck was that? Accept the idea that they are not the top of the food chain. Defeat. Every type of unit known. Accomplishing that shall open the path to a new kind of warfare. Sh simpleton. You think that giving a multitude of people a thrashing will get you anywhere? Lead every type of unit known. It is that which will open the path to this new kind of warfare of which you speak. Hmm. Leading a few troops? That would get no one anywhere. Oh, you believe so? Then why not prove your theory? Then I shall locate one who has done so and ask him to tell me about it. That will be my proof. Huh. 
That's interesting. This is all I can offer you at the moment. You choose this one, <laughs> I shall pray for your safe return. All right, got two bases to take down, no problem. Let's go for it. So like I was saying, you know, I don't think humanity could ever accept being a food source for another species. You know, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it's hypocritical. You know, and to make me, like, to make me say it even more. If you watch the anime, you know one of those parasites, uh, Takamura Rico or something. She changed her names at near the end. Could this come to pass? But uh, I was trying to like, she, she had a baby, a human baby, from when, from when she first had it, she wasn't your ideal parent. You know, she planned to experiment on it as it got older. But, I guess as time went on, the longer she spent around it, she came to care for it. And then she started taking care of it. And, like, uh, a detective that she hired to research, um, well, to watch, uh, what's his name? Um... Shink, 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 I can't pronounce his name, but, uh, the main character, main protagonist, she had the, op, uh, press, private investigator, uh, follow him, and once he found out the whole parasite thing and shit like that, um, the parasites tried to wipe him out. So he went to his house, but he wasn't there, and he killed his family. So, uh, he wanted to get revenge. So he took, he followed Takamura, he, I'm going to just call her Rico. He followed Rico to her house. And stole her baby, then left a note to meet him in the park to, uh, to save her baby at like five something so she showed up there and Miggy is the parasite that infected the main character's hand work, <sighs> right and he can sense killing intent so he was in the park and he sensed Rico but it wasn't just like your normal killing intent she had emotion And she she wanted to protect her her human baby. Even even when she got caught in the park and surrounded by the police, and they started shooting at her, she protected her baby until like she got to uh, the main character, and she gave the baby to the main character. Good morrow. The English. <laughs> That female commander folk are chattering about seems to be in command. Sounds intriguing. We are to partake a campaign against some French forces in Ortez. Lady Philippa will take command of our army. Who of ye will join us this day? Alright, got some, I guess, story progression going on. You choose this one? You return unscathed. Yeah, so, um, you know, she became, she came to love a human baby. And we call, like, they call her, they, like, they refer to them as monsters because they eat humans. 
But wouldn't we be monsters because we eat other animals for substance? They're still a life form. They're still a living thing. They have families. They have babies. But we, we slaughter them and eat them. So are we just as just as a monster as a parasite that eats humans? You know, just being, just saying. So just because something chooses us as a food source makes us, mo makes them monsters. But in the end, we're all monsters since we live off the of life of another thing, living creature. You know, so it's like. It's. It, I'm not gonna put it. It's, it's um. It's ironic. Hypocritical. And the least. You know. How would I feel if. Uh. A, a, a race or uh, a species was developed, who came to life that just lived off the eating humans. Like they didn't want to eradicate us or some bullshit like that. They just was hungry and they needed to eat humans. Then I'll just be like, well, fuck. Give them our prisoners? I don't know. I feel like I would want to fight for preservation of my own life. <laughs> and I guess that's not wrong, but... Uh, I don't know. I just... Uh, I don't know. It was just a term monster that kind of bothered me. I just think it's funny how anything that kills us or lives off of us is a monster. Or anything that's different for us is a monster. I just think that's uh, funny. Because in reality, if we call us a monster or something that lives differently from us, then we're a monster. To every animal, because we eat them. So, I don't know. It's all strange. Condoning the eating of humans for another species, being human, meaning I could be eaten just as any, just as much as anybody else. You know. So I guess it's a, I guess it's a part of being human that makes you want to live. And be at the top. It's like, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to be eaten by another animal. So. I think that's just, I think that's just being alive. I, don't, I think you don't want to be killed. You know, like, imagine if... Fucking cows became like not sentient, but more intelligent. Learned to wield weapons and started just fucking rising up against us. Like when we just start fighting with the cows or something, or we try to convince them, like, look, man, it's normal. We've been doing this for like ever. All right, you were made to feed us. Oh, shit. You know, so it's just like, you gotta wonder. Would you be like, hey, hey look, Kyle, just chill out. This is, this is how the world works. Alright, we eat you. You kind of just accept it. That's how this, that's how this, this world works. 
your food. I am, you know, your food, and I am the predator. You know, so you know, should should we f eradicate them so we could continue eating them, or should we stop because they have the right to live? <laughs> you know, so it's all very strange. I guess if you look at it from, if you look at it from us eating eating animals, but just replace the animals with us and be the predator to us, I guess you could look at it like that. Man, some of you are probably confused as fuck right now. Even if they've seen the anime, they're probably like, "What the fuck is this dude talking about?" He's like, he's basically like saying it's okay for us to be eaten because it's part of the food chain. I don't want to be eaten. I don't want to be eaten. I don't want to be. I don't want to be taken over by parasite. And would I fight for my survival? Most likely, I most likely will fight for my survival. But at the same time, you know, because in every, in all the movies that show aliens or monsters or child that eat humans, it's more like sport, game, or just simply destruction. You know, no one comes to Earth trying to survive, trying to make a living and just start eating humans. No, it's always some fucked up shit. Should I tell you of the hunter of the battlefield? Tis a legend which dates back to when I first began my life as a mercenary. There was this extraordinarily strong mercenary. When he took to the field, the enemy commanders, whether they be knight or mercenary, trembled with fear. The reason was that this peerless warrior would seek out all commanders who stood against him. Out of praise and out of fear, they bestowed upon him the nickname Hunter of the Battlefield. A number of mercenaries have attempted to imitate the great deeds of this man. Yet to this very day, none has succeeded. I wonder if that's a hint to an achievement. If I kill every uh, commander on the field, will I get some kind of thing? Back to the story. This is all I can offer you. Do you choose this one? Yeah, I choose that one. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, it just makes you wonder. It just like, I don't know. I'm a person who can see all points of view. Even one point of view is one that would conflict. With my livelihood. But you just gotta think. What if that. You know. An animal comes along. Or not an animal comes along. But animals evolve. And they're like start wielding guns or some shit. And we gotta fight for our food. Literally. Where some people think, wait, we can't eat cows anymore because now, you know, they're on the same level as us. I 
I'm gonna see about that whole commander taking out every commander on the field. So they got Gene. That's they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got seven, and they're they're not that spread apart. Nah, I ain't gonna fuck with it. I'll do it on another mission. Or I'll do it on my, uh... I'll do it on my own time. When I'm not, like, recording or something. Because I this game is... I don't think it's long, but I've just been fucking around with, like, one mission for too long. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and that's kind of the two animes I've just been watching. Uh, I actually stopped watching uh, Croco's Basketball because I want the season to finish. Because one thing that I don't I don't like is watching episodes as it comes out. I don't know. 